All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. This is the 2007 Honda Civic, and it's having some brake issues. So the brakes are really touchy, and sometimes uh, all the brake booster pressure goes away after a couple of minutes. So uh, a lot of people, you know, they'll be like, oh, it's the, it's the brake booster, it's the brake master cylinder. Uh, but I'm gonna show you in my experience with these Honda Civics, it's something completely different and something really easy to fix. So I'll show you when I come right back. Okay, for better access, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop, you're gonna pop this plastic thing off and just pop it straight up. Uh, it's being held in by a retainer here, a plastic retainer here, and a plastic retainer here. Just pop it up, but you don't want to pull it too hard because this hose right here uh, feeds uh, water to your sprayers, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bolt loose, these two bolts loose, there's a bolt hidden here, and it's the same story in the back. One, two, three, and then another one right there. We're gonna take this pan out and we're gonna gain access to the uh, brake booster hose. All right, so check it out, we've gained access. And I forgot to tell you about this little guy right here, a little booger. But uh, basically you can keep it, you can keep the screw, I'm sorry, you can keep the bolt in there because the uh, where it connects is allows it to slip right out. It's a real pain in the butt to, to find. I had to use my, uh, had to use my magnet on a stick uh, to, to fish out the, uh, the bolt once it fell out. Anyway, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this hose loose here, and we're gonna take the hose loose off of the uh, brake booster right here, hopefully. It, and this one should just pop right off. I mean, it has a retaining clip on it, but uh, it's able to pull right off, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pull that right off. So I've taken it, I've taken the, the clamp, and I've pulled it back a bit here. I've also pulled this clamp back. Okay, I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get it out without, uh, I couldn't get it off the hose, I couldn't get it out, it would only slide a, cup, a little bit of the way. So what I did is I, I turned it sideways, oops, sorry. I turned it sideways and then I popped it out of here. It looks like this is meant to be popped out. Uh, I didn't wanna break it and, it and it did not break. But uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this hose. Okay, so right here, where is it? Right here, there's a bulge. Can you see that bulge right there? It's like right here. There's a check valve inside there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to clean that check valve because it does not let go, or it does not hold the charge in it uh, completely and perfectly. So we're gonna need to clean that check valve. All right, so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna spray some more brake cleaner on it inside there and blow it out. And we're gonna shake it. We're gonna do all kinds of good stuff with it. and. Uh, and that way it can it can work, all right? Okay, folks, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fill this up with uh, some, you can use brake cleaner. I have this, this stuff's expensive, but it's all I have. Uh, it's gonna actually clean all the debris out of this thing. Uh, give me a second. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill it up, fill it up. See that? And we're gonna let it kind of work its magic in there. See how it's coming out the bottom? That might be a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing. All right, shake it, shake it up. Okay, shaking it. And then I'm gonna blow it out. See that? And I'm gonna do that again. All right, give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. All right. Hopefully that cleans this little check valve that's inside here. All right. Okay, so we're gonna install it in reverse order. Uh, basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this uh, back where it goes in there with it. You see that black part down in there? And then I'm gonna connect this side 
to this port right here. It's hard to see because it's not, there we go. That port right there. Uh, of course, I will put the clamp on before I connect that. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, everything's now secured. The clamps are on. Clamps are on good, okay. Then, last step is to put this little, this little guy back in its house. So we're gonna, we're gonna push it, twist it, move it. Yeah. All right, I had to, I had to use two hands. Anyway, we're gonna put it back where it goes, which is directly under here. And there's a little spot for it. You can clip it right in and click it in place. It's clicked, it's clicked in place. Okay, good, all the hoses are routed the correct way. I'm gonna install this and this and make sure my drain holes are, are open because look, I'm getting a lot of debris and wetness in there. So that's never a good thing. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of clean that out, make sure all my drain holes are, can, are, are taken care of. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it for a road test today. Okay, so I noticed this drain pan is plugged up right here. It's plugged up in all these holes and I'm getting a ton of debris inside here. So to prevent corrosion on bolts from the 2007, 2008 type Civics, uh, you probably need to take this out once in a while and clean out that debris. Uh, I think long term, this will cause uh, rusting and, and especially in the northern environments, I think it's going to cause rusting in places you don't want rust in. So as you can see, all of our water drain passages have been cleared out. Uh, just keep an eye on that stuff, folks. All right, we don't want any rust. Okay, so I ended up having to take that screw out or that bolt out because I wasn't able to get this thing in there with it. So uh, that's gonna be my first screw, or I'm sorry, I keep saying screw. That's gonna be my first bolt I install, and then I'm gonna install the ones on this side, then I'm gonna install the ones on this side. So anyway, this thing turned into a pain in the butt. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put a piece of paper towel over the bolt head, and then what you're gonna do is uh, just jam that 10 millimeter onto, onto that, and you should be able to Feel, you should be able to uh, feed it right in, okay? Shouldn't be an issue. All right, so everything's tight, uh, everything's cleaned up. Uh, I am gonna get some of this debris out of the side of this, uh, but time to put the uh, plastic part down uh, after I do that, okay? Okay, so once you get it in place, it's not in there yet, make sure everything's aligned, and then give it a, give it a good little tap. All right, well that side's gonna be held in by a retainer, but there's like a, there's a tap, you gotta tap it. You see that little clip that's gotta go in? Oh, there you go. It's connected, this one's connected. Let's make sure that clip's good. Oh, that's in there. Sometimes you gotta give it a love tap in there. Well, this one doesn't wanna go, so we'll see where it's not lining up and then we'll make it happen. Sometimes you gotta tap it. And that's it, folks. All right, take it for a test drive. Everything should be good to go. All right, we'll see you guys next time on the I Just Fix It Myself. Mm -hmm.